Hi, it's Steph. And today I'm gonna to go around the garden and show you seven evergreens that are easy to grow, look beautiful year round, and as an added bonus, they're deer resistant. It is now fall and it is the perfect time to go ahead and plant some evergreens in the garden to have something beautiful to look at in the winter when all of your perennials are dormant. And one that is great is this one here, the Blue Star Juniper. You can find this readily available at any of your box stores or local garden centers. And they're really affordable. The great thing about this one is not only does it have this beautiful blue-gray coloring, it also is pretty well behaved. It's slow growing and is low growing. So at about 10 years old, that's how old this one is here in my garden, it's only gotten to be about three to four feet in diameter and 12 to 18 inches in height. So this is the perfect evergreen for the front of a border. And deer, don't touch it. The Blue Star Juniper likes full sun and it is rated to grow in zones four through eight. The Gold Mop Cypress, another shrub that's readily available at garden centers and box stores. I have had this one planted here for about 10 years as well. While it does get fairly large, it's slow growing. It took 10 years for it to get to this size. And the reason why I trimmed it and shaped it into a topiary, it was because it was starting to overhang my walkway. But something that you can do when these start to get too large is you can prune it selectively and trim it up and do something like this. Trim it into a little tree or even just trim it trim it to a smaller shrub to keep it growing in the spot that you have it planted. What's wonderful about this particular shrub is that it has a really pretty kind of graceful arching branching habit. The foliage is really pretty and kind of weeping and it also has this really beautiful vibrant golden color. Now in order for it to keep this golden color that you see here on the new growth and the tips, it does need full sun because if you have it planted in part sun or some shade, you will see such as underneath the foliage that doesn't get any sun, it will take on more of a green appearance. So full sun gives you the most beautiful golden color. And again, deer do not touch this. I have this one here that I've shaped into a topiary and I also have some in my garden that I'm growing in a shrub form. And here's one that's growing in my garden in their more natural shrub form. This is how they will naturally grow. And as they age, they will start to get taller. So they'll get wider at the base and a bit taller as they go upward. And these are hardy in zones four through eight. And this cutie here is called a Pisces pungens glauca globosa. It's a Colorado blue spruce in standard form or a lollipop shape. What's great about these is that it's really easy to size control because they've been grown as a lollipop. And if you want to keep this nice tight ball form, you would just go in and prune it periodically. But it has a really beautiful blue color. The new growth in the spring has almost like a gray appearance. And then it all becomes just this pretty shade of blue. Now, these are rated for zones two through seven. So they're really hardy, but they do better with cooler weather and they get the most beautiful beautiful color in full sun and with cool temperatures. The deer also do not seem to touch any of the blue evergreens in my garden. I don't know if it's coincidental, but they do not touch my blue spruces. Here's another beautiful variety of blue spruce, and this one is called the Blues Blue Spruce, and it's in weeping form. What's great about weeping varieties is that they are also really easy to size control. You can cut off any of the leaders, you can train it with proper staking to whatever size you want it to be. This one also has really be beautiful blue coloring and it is deer resistant. This one is hardy in zones two through eight and also looks most beautiful with this vibrant blue in full sun. And rounding out the category of blue spruces, I've shown you a standard or lollipop version, a weeping version, and here is the traditional Colorado blue spruce, and it is quite a monster. It is a beautiful, large evergreen with this gorgeous blue color. The birds love to make nests in it in the spring, and it is just a stunning evergreen for the garden. It just gets really large, so needs lots of space. Also very cold, hardy, and this is a full sun location. And this yellow beauty here is called an old gold juniper. Now I would say that these are pretty fast growing because I bought this as a two or three gallon container about three years ago at the Home Depot and it's put on quite a bit of size. It has a really gorgeous golden color and more golden on the tips, which really shines in the garden, especially in the winter when everything is gray and drab. 
the good thing about this one as well is that it almost creates sort of like a ground cover because it grows really wide. It gets to be about six feet in width, five to six feet in width, and three to four feet in height. The thing with evergreens though is that if they are happy, they will continue to grow as long as they're alive. So the size that you see on the tags at the store are generally the size of that plant in a 10 year time frame. And here is the second one that I have planted. They're both being grown in the same location, which is full sun, and they're hardy in zones four through nine. And this large, beautiful blue shrub here is a gray owl juniper. Also planted about three years ago. I planted all of the shrubs on this side of the foundation roughly three years ago, and it has grown quite a bit. So I would say that this is a fast grower. It also is great as a ground cover option. So if you have a large area of the garden, maybe on the border of your property where you want to plant some ground cover but have evergreen interest, this would be a great option. The gray owl juniper has this gorgeous gray blue color. It also has these arching kind of weeping type um, stems or branches. And this one is rated to a pretty low zone. So it's very hardy, I believe down to a zone three. And it gets to be about, well, the specs for 10 years is about six feet wide and three feet tall. And this one is about halfway there at three years in. And now we are at the back of my yard in my new garden space called our Japanese maple garden. I have a number of conifers in here and I actually have an additional weeping blue spruce. I love them so much, I now have two in my garden. But what I wanna show you is this cute shrub here, which has this rounded form, and this is called a Fire Chief Arborvitae. I planted these two here last year. I purchased them at Lowe's, so they are also widely available at local garden centers and box stores, um, and even your local nursery. And what's great about these is that in the spring, they get really vibrant golden color. And they go through a few color changes throughout the season. You can see here that the new growth has almost like a pink or sort of bronze appearance. And as the temperatures cool off in fall and in winter, this will take on more of a reddish bronze look. So it's a really interesting shrub. It is also pretty slow growing. At 10 years, it'll get to be three to four feet tall and wide in a rounded or globe shape. This is planted in a part sun location and these can take part sun or full sun. And the Fire Chief Arborvitae is hardy in zones five through eight. And another easy to grow, really pretty evergreen that I have in my garden is this here. This is a golden duchess hemlock. I planted this here last year and this is a Monrovia shrub that I purchased at Lowe's. What I really loved about this is that it has a really graceful, also kind of weeping arching habit. This has been a plant that I just set here and it's been doing wonderfully. The deer don't seem to touch it and it has a really beautiful golden color. Most of the season it has been a nice yellow color. In fact, you can actually see some of the coloring here on these needles on the inside. And it has gone a bit green now as we change seasons and it gets a little bit cooler out. This shrub here is rated for zones five through eight and it likes full sun to part sun. And here in my garden, I have it planted in part sun. The Golden Duchess Hemlock is a pretty slow growing evergreen. I would say it's moderate to slow. At about 10 years, it'll get somewhere between four and five feet tall and about five feet wide. So it does grow wider than it does tall. It eventually will take on more of sort of a pyramidal or tree shape. And you can kind of see that with the leader that's growing upward here. And an honorable mention is a mugo pine. This one here I planted also about three years ago. I purchased it at the Home Depot and it was labeled as a dwarf mugo pine. The size of this one gets to be about three to five feet tall and wide up to, in up to 10 years. Now, mugo pines can be size controlled. In the spring, they will put out these beautiful candles and the candles are the new growth for that year. If you go in and you prune off those candles in the spring, that will help keep your mugo pine more size controlled and compact. But this is also planted in full sun and these are hardy in zones two through eight. And an evergreen that's not planted in my garden, but right behind me in my neighbor's garden is the green giant arborvitae. If you are looking to create a living fence or some privacy hedging in your garden, that is a great option. Now you can see how large these trees have gotten. They are probably upwards of 20 to 25 feet at this point, and they've only been planted for about five years. Arborvitaes do great in full sun, and they do like consistent watering. So you have to be sure to water them pretty regularly in the first couple of years until they establish. But the reason 
reason that I think they're great is because they're also deer resistant. And here in our gardens, we get lots of deer. And you might think, well, they have a fence up, so that will keep the deer out. Yes, they do. But that fence only went up this summer. For the first four years that these were planted, there was no fence around them and they were always untouched by the deer. In fact, I made a video and featured them last winter where there was no fence and they looked absolutely beautiful. So I just thought that I would mention it in case you are looking to install a living fence this fall. And just to be clear, not all arborvitae are deer resistant, but this particular variety, the green giant arborvitae is. Well, I hope that this video gave you some ideas for some evergreens that you could plant in your garden for some beautiful year-round interest. And the reason that I told you where I purchased most of these evergreens is just to show you that if you don't have local specialty nurseries near you, most of them, or almost all of them, with the exception of this one that I bought at a local nursery, all of the others were purchased at my local box store or garden center. So they are easily available. They're really easy, low maintenance. All I did was plant them according to the tag instructions and they've done beautifully for me with no extra input or effort on my end. So if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for spending your time with me and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing so you don't miss any of my future videos and we'll see you soon.